Hello guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we are gonna do something different because this is my first keyboard tutorial and in this tutorial I will be teaching you the song Still Away by Ruby Dupree Now before we begin this tutorial allow me to demonstrate a portion of the song because this song on its own is tricky for just one keyboardist but somehow I managed to figure out how to consolidate the roles of three keyboardists because this song has three key parts which are piano, roads, and strings and I've seen a video of this I think this was played by two or three keyboardists but yeah I figured out how to do it alone so for the intro it goes like this So now that the short demo is out of the way, let me first explain the patch I used for this song. For this song, I programmed three patches for each section. And since the intro up to the chorus uses the same set of voices, you can use only one. But this one patch is a combi of three sounds. So from C to to here, we have a piano. Then from here to here, we have a Rhodes. And from here to this G, we have a strings. And again, from here to the end, the last C, we have roads. It's because of the way I played it when I demonstrated it. And this second patch, we have a piano for the entire keyboard. Since the ad-lib only uses a piano, it goes something like this. something like that while the guitar is doing the so that's the only line of the guitar doing the ad-lib and the piano responds get the idea and after that part there will be a bridge which only uses piano as well like the ad-lib and the final part of the song will be switching to another patch which is kind of similar to this one the first one which consists of the same three voices, piano, strings, and roads, but in different key zones. Wow. 
So now that I have explained it to you about the patch and how to use it, let's now play the song by section so that you will learn how to use the patch. So let's go back to patch 1. So first off, the first part of intro is a keyboard solo without the left hand. So you will only play the right hand together with the drums or as soon as the drums come in. Next part, the guitar comes in and so does the left hand, the piano part. So this is how it goes. <laughs> then the verse comes in. You just repeat the intro without the strings for the first part or the first stanza oops again then the part why the twist still away Then the next verse that starts with the words tease me, you will repeat the pattern of the intro with the strings and the left hand. Why don't you still away? Mm, this is quite hard. This will be the break which will introduce us to the bridge or the transition to the bridge part or ad lib rather. Okay, I will play it again without talking. So from verse to chorus up to bridge.
so now we are on the ad lib section but for a recap before we enter the ad lib section there is this transition then we change patch to the full piano and you play it like this oops before that bear in mind that the ad lib has only four measures and for the three measures you will do the same thing with the fourth breaking the cycle one two three four That will break the Adli part and enter the bridge. And for the bridge part, I forgot the lyrics, but the chords goes like G major seven, then B over A, then B minor, then this. enter the final chorus which will change key to G now for the ending part or the final chorus after that section we will do the chorus in a new key and the strings goes like this why don't we steal away then we do the intro pattern on the key of d Never mind the ending, I just made it up because as we all know this song has a fade in style oh fade out ending on the album version and I really forgot how my band ended this when we played this one time live and that was years ago so now I am relearning the song myself. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you picked something and sorry for the way I talk because this is my first time. But I hope I was able to deliver my message across to you with this first time tutorial. And I hope you like it. Anyway, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit that notification bell icon down there so you won't miss any of my future content and stay up to date again thank you for watching and see you on my next video